What are you seeing right now? What are your thoughts about what you are seeing? What you see matters a lot when it comes to your life. Life is not just a product of fate. Our visions and thoughts have a way of affecting the quality of our lives. The Bible tells us that as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. The difference between success and failure is not just about what is happening, but their perspective about what is happening. Success sees success from the beginning. They are driven by the force of success and eventually break through. But failure sees failure from the beginning because of the fear of what they do not know. You see, what you are seeing about the year will always be your realities. Are you seeing success or failure? Are you seeing the faithfulness of God or you are seeing disappointment from every side and everyone that you will relate with this year? What are you seeing? What are you hearing? What are the things that have set your heart to receive this year? What are your plans for the year ahead? This is because what you lay down for yourself determines what you will end up having. Have you set a goal for yourself already? Well, you have to know that through all the things happening to you, God is still speaking to you. God is doing something for your life and God has set a goal for you this year that there will be several breakthroughs for you and blessings on every side. God has said it and that is what it will be if you believe and work along with God. Psalm 71 verse 21 You shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. What God wants to do is not just limited to an aspect of your life. It is going to touch every area of your life. When God is touching your finance, your business and your job is getting the touch of the Lord. As for those hindrances and roadblocks that have stopped you over the year, the Lord is saying this year you are breaking through them all. You are conquering all those challenges that have kept you down and not given you the peace of mind that you have always wanted. The Almighty God has said that this year you are going to experience several breakthroughs in your life. Won't you accept it as a reality of your life? You do not have to doubt if this thing is going to work or not. Is the word of the Lord going to be or not? It is going to be according to the word of the Lord. The only thing you have to do is to put your faith in the word of the Lord for your life because this year you are going to experience a massive breakthrough in all things. It is going to be the way God has spoken it and it is going to be amazing to your life. For the children of Israel, the wall of Jericho was a hindrance, blocking them from moving on to where God is taking them. You might have had to face that situation several times, been through several struggles, had so many thoughts, but a turnaround is coming your way soon. For the Israelites, when the story will change, when the solution will come, God told them to walk around the city. This is not just a mere faith attitude alone. It was also a prophetic activity that brought their breakthrough into reality. So, are we like the children of Israel, willing and eager to obey the will and the instructions of the Lord? They did as the Lord commanded and went the first day, the second day, until the seventh day. When God asks you to do certain things, obey the instructions thoroughly, no matter how foolish or irrelevant it might seem. The Lord told them to shout it, and that shout through the power of God brought down the walls of Jericho. 
God is doing everything possible to ensure our victory, to bring down our hindrances, to break down your challenges, to break down those things that have been confronting you, to break down those things that have been stopping you, to break down those things that have been facing and tormenting your life, your health, your finance, your family, your relationship and all that concerns you. To shout and rejoice was the prophetic move that they took and God gave them victory. The Bible says that the wall of Jericho fell flat. Joshua 6 verse 1 You are going to get all the things that you have lost over the years. Those things that have been stopping you from rising and shining. Those challenges that have set it arms on you to keep pressing you down permanently and make you lose focus and hope in your life. God is saying to you right now about it that you are going to break through and conquer it. You are going to dominate. You are going to reign over the enemies that are determined to make you fail. Some people do not want you to make it in life. They are the vessel the devil uses to work against your life. They are the reason you have not found favor in the sight of those that want to favor you. They are the reason things are not really working for you. Because they are determined to see that you end up a failure. They are behind your unsuccessful attempt at a breakthrough in life. You know what? God knows them. God knows the limit and the capacity of their power and their ability to do something. The Almighty God has said you are going to experience several breakthroughs this year because He has fought your battle and conquered those that are responsible for your failure. Those factors in your life that are stopping you from breakthrough God has defeated them and God is saying to you, you will soar on eagle's wings this year. You will cease to be known as a desolate and cursed person. For those negative things that are operating in your life and making your life a pain, giving you a wrong identity based on what you are going through. God is saying he is going to change your name from failure to success. Those that have known and called you failure will celebrate success and great accomplishments in your life because that is what God wants to do for you this year in your marriage, in your business, in your spiritual life and ministry, in your academics. God is giving you the grace to break through every hurdle that is before you. From now, what do you say about yourself? Are you not seeing the future brighter? Are you not seeing a year greater and better? Are you not seeing God turning things around for you? Are you not seeing yourself leap onto the top? Are you not seeing yourself somewhere higher? Are you not seeing God breaking the yoke of the devil for you? The big question remains, what do you see? What can you say of yourself? What can you say about your year? What have you started saying about the year? What you see becomes your reality. What you say as well becomes your reality. The beliefs of your heart become your reality and what you accept is what becomes your reality. God has said it. Accept it and that is how it is going to be for you. God will bless you this year. Celebrate forever.